distance time graph. You might have seen the figure shown on the screen in your maths book. These kinds of figures are called graphs. Graph is a representation of mathematical data on a graph paper. There are a number of graphical representations like bar graphs, pie charts and line graphs. Let us learn how to make a distance time graph. Take a sheet of graph paper and draw two lines perpendicular to each other as shown in figure. Now mark the horizontal line as XOA which is called X axis and vertical line as YOB which is called Y axis. The point of intersection of XOA and YOB is known as origin O. Now let us make a distance time graph. Here we have some data of motion of a train. Now in the graph, the horizontal line represents time and the vertical line represents distance. While applying the data on the graph, it is important to mention the units and the scale. In a graph paper, one box represents one centimeter. For x-axis, let one centimeter equal to one minute. For y-axis, let one centimeter equal to one kilometer. In the first row, the body covers zero kilometer in zero minute. A point in the graph represents it. This point corresponds to origin of the graph. In the second one, the body covers two kilometers in one minute. The second point on the graph represents it. This point corresponds to one minute on x-axis and two kilometers on y-axis. Similarly, plot the other points on the graph. Now, join these points extending the line to zero minute and zero distance, that is, point zero. A distance time graph representing the movement of a body is ready. The distance time graph of a body moving in uniform motion is always a straight line.